Hi, my name is Matt Crowley. I'm a product specialist for Atlas Capco. In today's video, we will be looking at the mechatronic wrenches and more specifically the rehit functionality of these tools. Now let's take a look into the software. In order to activate the rehit functionality, we need to utilize the Toolstock BLM software for the Focus 61. The first thing we need to do once we're in the software here is connect to the device by clicking connect, Focus 61, and then configuration. And we will now connect to the device. Now that we are in Toolstock BLM, we can see the tool that we wish to configure rehit for in the center of the screen, serial number 56A. But first we need to go to the PSET parameter page for this tool. In order to do this, we need to go Station 1, Wrenches, Group 1, and then we can see our tool 56A here. So we just double click to open it up. Now that we're in the PSET parameter page, you can see a few different things here. We can see torque limits, angle limits, etc. But what we're looking for is the rehit value, which is under other settings. Right now, the rehit value is set to zero degrees, as we can see the degree icon here. So right now it's at zero degrees. What does that mean? Well, zero degrees means that we are null and voiding the rehit value. Essentially, right now the tool is not even utilizing the rehit value at all. If we want to utilize it, we just have to put in a value of our desire. So for this example, we're going to put in three degrees. So we type in three click away, and now on the top left we can save this value. Great, our PSET properties have been saved and updated to the tool. So what does this three degrees mean? This means that if we do not see at least three degrees after we complete a tightening, then the program is going to assume that our operator is just hitting the same joint multiple times in a row and not actually moving on to the next assigned joint in their batch. We can actually illustrate this now using our live monitor functionality in which we go to the top, press start, and press live monitor. Now we'll see a demonstration of the rehit functionality being utilized. As we can see in the screen in front of us, we do have green boxes, which is great because that means we did hit our torque and angle okay. However, if we look in the bottom, we see status are okay in red. What this means is that in fact, we did re-hit the same joint because we did not see at least three degrees. Therefore, we just assumed that we did not move to the next joint in the batch and we would have to redo this operation in order for it to be considered okay. And we have to move on and complete the next tightening. Now that we can confirm that our re-hit is working okay, we can close out of this window. We can stop our live monitor and we can also disconnect from TTBLM, feeling confident that our tool is working the way we expected. Thank you for watching today's video. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to reach out to your local Atlas Capco representative. Thank you.